the Loymanster Band of Pipeline Bobcats continued the best of five league final this afternoon against the Foothills CFR Bisons. Last night in game one, the Cats destroyed the Bisons 10 to nothing and were looking for another win today to put a stranglehold on the series before heading down south. Well, yesterday it took just 22 seconds before the Cats got on the board. Well, why not make it faster in game two? Zane Franklin causes the turnover. His rebound gets put in the back of the net by Logan Ganey. Just 17 seconds into this one and the Cats are already up. It's 1-0. Orange and black. Well, Logan Ganey is going to get hit from behind here. Fortunately, he would pop up. There was a penalty on the play there to the Bisons players for checking from behind. Not a good day for, uh, I guess you could say, Lloyd players with checks from behind. Well, on that power play, Ty Smith's going to walk the blue line, fakes the shot, then he's going to let it go. That one finds twine. The Bobcats are up 2 0, eight minutes into this game. While well, the Cats here, they're going to get a lucky bounce from the home rink, and it's going to be Parker Soretsky with a behind the back pass to Chase Waters. He tucks it home with the backhand there. The Cats are up 3 0 after 20 minutes. Well, we're going to move to the second late there. Breakaway here for the Bisons, but Austin Stonewall McGrath, huge save comes up big for the Cats. They're still up three after 40. Well, late third now, Zach Bendel with some sick sauce over to Kobe Walker. He makes no mistake. The Bobcats are now up four to nothing. Well, there's going to be a little bit of deja vu here. Soretsky and Waters, they're going to connect again for Waters. Second goal of the game. The Cats up big. Once again, it's five nothing. That's exactly how this one ends. Bobcats take game two, five nothing, and take a stranglehold on the series. Austin McGrath, huge again in net. 21 saves for a second straight shutout. Fifth of the playoffs. The Cats can sweep the league final Thursday in Strathmore. Well, it's huge. You know, you always want to take care of business at home, and the boys did today. You know, it uh, wasn't our best effort, but, you know, that's a team that was desperate over there, and they uh, threw everything at us, and uh, we responded. You know, we uh, uh, we blocked a lot of shots today, and then when things, when pucks did get through, Austin was there with some big saves, and, you know, uh, uh, it's playoff hockey. You know, good teams find a way to win, and today I thought we found a way to win. You never want to lose at home uh, in your own barn. You always got to play good, and... Make sure you don't lose those, and um, going down there now, it takes a lot of pressure off with the two games. Um, you know, just uh, making sure to get one and just play good as soon as, um, try and take it Thursday, not uh, leave it out there and kind of let them get any momentum going.